funny. Squirrel sure does seem a lot better now. You're right, Lammy. I was thinking the same thing. I just don't understand why he ran away. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but he's definitely back to normal. Well, his heartbeat is normal. Is Squibbles okay? I came as soon as I heard he ran away. I was so worried. <laughs> wow, Squibbles' heart just started beating really fast. What is it, boy? Hmm. Squibbles got scared the second Celeste came in. <gasps> That's it. What you thinking, Doc? Everyone, I have a diagnosis. One vet pet book coming up. Squibbles has big boomophobia or a fear of loud noises. Come to think of it, Emmy and Alma's dog Rudy has the same fear. That's why they always bring him inside on the 4th of July, so he won't be scared by all of the exploding fireworks. I feel really bad. I didn't want to scare Squibbles. It's okay, Stuffy. I know how much you love Squibbles, but you're still learning how to be a great pet owner. Just remember that something you think is cool and exciting may be scary to your pet, so you should always think about how they're feeling. If you could think like your pets think, you'd think differently. If you could hear, smell, or see things like they do, you'd know what they need. Sounds could be louder. Smells could be smellier. Colors don't look the same to their eyes. I put myself in their shoes, but they don't wear shoes. I want to know what's going on in their minds. If you could think like your pets think. No more fireworks. Think like your pets think. I'm sorry, buddy. Think like your pets think, you think differently. Thanks, Doc. And I'm sorry, Squibbles. I wish I'd noticed that the loud noises were making you scared. I'm sorry, buddy. The last thing in the world I want is for Squibbles to be afraid of me. So, I made a special show just for him. One that's shh, quiet. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks, Celeste. I've always been your biggest fan. But now it looks like Squibbles might be your cutest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Tap or click for more Disney Junior clips.